Hello happy people welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you all another review of a beloved Bath and Body Works item. Um, it's actually probably one of their most popular scents. Uh, used to be one of their signature scents and I actually think they just continued it last year um, or either they did the repackaging of it. I can't quite remember but it's a scent that everybody knows and everybody loves and it's none other than Champagne Toast. Um, this is the packaging that it comes in. This is probably by far the favorite packaging that I've seen it in. It's really cute, sophisticated, got nice little sparkles on it. Like, I don't know, I just really like the look of it. Um, this item, I've been using it for quite some time now. As you can see, that's where it was, like, at my last Project Pan update. This is where I'm currently at. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on because my hands are in need of some lotion. So I'm going to put some on. It's really creamy, kind of more of the liquidy formula. That they that they have which is kind of like the standard formula um for bath and body works they do have some um items that come with like a thicker consistency and that's typically i think the ones that they bring out during winter time um you all saw in some of my previous hauls the test that i showed you to know that you have like a thick moisturizing lotion versus one of the liquidy ones this is one of the liquid liquidy ones but it smells absolutely amazing wow Oh, this scent is just so, so good. Yes. Let me read you the scent notes on it. Um, the scent notes is blackcurrant, chambord, sparkling nectarine, and sugared musk. Oh, the first note is pink champagne. Hmm. Hence the champagne toast. Let me start over. So it's pink champagne, blackcurrant, chambord, sparkling nectarine, and sugared musk. Um, it says it's part of the signature collection and it's supposed to provide 16 hours of continuous moisture. It has shea butter, um, vitamin E, aloe, and vitamin B5, non greasy, absorbs quickly, leaves skin feeling soft, smooth, and moisturized. I will say that those claims are true. Um, it is very lightweight, it's non greasy. Um, and it does leave the skin feeling smooth and moisturized, but it does not do that for 16 hours. Okay. Um, I would say maximum, you'll probably get like five hours of moisture out of this particular lotion. But I mean, for the scent of alone, like it smells so, so good y'all. Like it smells like, it smells like a woman that just put on like a nice fancy gown and is going to like a gala, like. Or is it gala? I don't know. But I normally say a gala. It's, it smells like that. Like you're all dressed up. You got your little sparkly dress on. You got your little shawl on. And you know, you're just sophisticated and grown. And you know, have your beautiful gown on. And it's just like one of those nice fancy nights. This is kind of what that smells like. It's like a grown woman that's just ready to go on a nice little ball, you know? So I really like this scent a lot. It is one of my all-time favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. It's up there. It, it was my all-time favorite scent up until In The Stars came out. And I think In The Stars actually surpassed Champagne Toast, which I was really surprised about. But both of them are really good scents in their own special way. Um, I do have a review of In The Stars coming soon because I do have that collection as well. But I wanted to bring you all Champagne Toast. Um, right now, I'm only using it in the body lotion. This was one that I started a couple of years back and want to get through. But I do have some backups of the body, body lotion as well as the Fine Fragrance Mist. Um, I also have, um, oh, I'll, and I also have like some of the wax melts in the champagne toast. I mean, I really love this scent overall. I think I got one more candle left in this scent as well. Um, if you all have not tried champagne toast, you all are definitely missing out on a really nice scent for Bath and Body Works. If you all don't want, um, I guess like a kitty type scent or like a teenager type scent and you want something a little bit more grown and sophisticated, um, this is something that I think you should look into because like I said, it's definitely one of my all time favorite scents from Bath and Body Works. Um, a little sad that they discontinued it, but I have plenty of backups to, um, have me have my fix of this scent. So yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on champagne toast if you like it if you don't like it um and then comment down below tell me what's your all-time favorite scents from bath and body works i love to hear from you all um i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday so if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around and join the happy family i'd love to have you all and um as always i want you to leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye